Hey guys, welcome back. So I finally am got one of these uh, low lifter 7500 XL airlifts. One of the largest ones that airlifts has. And I'm going to be putting it on my 2016 F350 Dually. I've always wanted an airlift system. I have driven a vehicle in the past um, that had one of these and they were great. Not, not actually a 7500. I don't actually know what kind it had. But it did have um, this on here. I, it was probably uh, uh, 7,000 or uh, definitely smaller because it was a smaller truck. But um, I also got this as well. And this is great because then I can control the, um, <clears throat> the air with the pump that it comes with just from the inside. And it can tell me whether there's a leak or something like that. So these are all the parts, the wiring that it comes with. And so the air lift here. And I'm going to be opening up all this stuff when I when I get deep into it. But, um, yeah, I haven't actually looked at any of this stuff yet. So, so just some information here. There's another clicker there. You can see it, wireless one. I saw someone on Facebook because I follow, um, I follow the uh, RV groups and uh, and toy and toy hauler groups and stuff like that on Facebook. And somebody had asked what this one was right here, the wireless one. Um, I knew that it came from Airlift. I just didn't know what the difference between that one and the, and the wireless Air. Uh, was but uh, yeah, these are the bad boys right here. Whew, those are nice. That's gonna be so cool. Installation guide. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's cool. We just got back from SEMA, so seeing these on the SEMA trucks, you know, it was really cool. So. They're, they're, some of them are obviously a lot bigger because they have much bigger lifts, but um, I just have mine at a stock height, so yeah, this is going to be awesome. This is something that I don't have. I could have bought the jacks um, for this. Unfortunately, it ended up being about the same price or cheaper. Um, for it, it cost me 350 bucks for the uh, tire guys to put it on. Um, they didn't do the electrical part of it, which is um, the controller with all the little pieces and the the, um, the clicker and everything. So I'm going to be doing that today. Um, but what they ended up having to do was they, they had the two jacks plus four jacks to lift up the truck because of the weight. So. Um, uh, and they have some pretty pretty tall jacks. They had they had four jacks with uh, with um, two uh, four by fours on each jack um, to jack up the truck so that they can get it high enough to be able to put the bags in there. So as you can see, oh, let's see, let's go over here on this side. It also came with you can see right here. There's a silver. Uh, heat uh, keeps the heat from touching the bags. Uh, I don't like the fact that this exhaust is so close. I might actually take this off um, and have the exhaust come out a little further. But uh, those are the bags right there. No air in them because I have nothing connected yet. <clears throat> Same way that you can see these ones over there look real nice. Suspension stuff is cool. Probably gonna cut those shorter because those are a little long. I don't expect them to hit anything because anything I hit will probably hit that first. But I'm probably gonna need some new shocks too. Kind of leaning towards the Fox shocks, but we'll see. You can see here how it kind of fits perfectly under there. And uh, gonna go from there. So I'm probably gonna have to move some wires around stuff like that all right guys so I got the bag at a hundred percent let's see what the height is
It's about 12, uh, 12 and 5 eighths is the height. So I'm going to drop it down all the way to zero. Go all the way down. Two. Oh, I guess five. All right, and we'll see. All right, so now that it is five percent, which is the lowest it'll go, let's see what the height is. Ten and a quarter. So it went one, two, raised it about two inches. One, two, yeah, about two and a half inches. Cool. The hardest part was just trying to find a spot for me to locate the stuff because I have the gas tank and then I'm dealing with the def system. Um, it was it was a little hard for me to get up in there because I don't have the connection to be able to take out the spare tire If you can take out the spare tire great do it because it's gonna make a huge difference um, As you can see here in the picture. It was very easy very uh, very easy to use um, It explained I actually I, I added the uh, the manifold and filter mounting system. I, I It says preferred so I did it just like this it says you can do it like that. I think it depends on the room that you have in the truck and then do not do it like that. So, um, you know, those are, that's something important. Um, something, I haven't zip tied anything yet. I'm gonna have to disconnect some of the stuff. Um, but I also connected it to my clicker again. Here's my clicker. So any one of my videos, if you see me installing lights, if you see me installing anything, I'm usually gonna end up hooking it up to this. So I now have all these filled up. Um, the compressor is number four, so uh, that makes it really easy. And what I so here, let me take the camera. Okay, so this is the clicker here. You can see it's at 90 psi. Want it to go up, so it'll go up to 100. It's a little loud, but. And then you can see they're slowly going up. And then I can also make it go back down. 100 is the highest. And I'll show you here. There's the bags right there. Going up. And you need to get some new shocks. Those shocks are pretty old. Um, and then you go back down. Very simple to use. Let's just go to 90, and that's it. So I didn't have any any holes or anything like that that I found. Um, the motor isn't constantly turning on, so that means that there's no leaks. So here was what I showed you before. There is the uh, that's all connected for the clicker. So um, these two right here are number four, and uh, that was pretty easy to do. I didn't need to use this fuse because that box right there already has a fuse. And those were the sprinkler wires that I showed you in my other videos. So if we go underneath, down here, I'll show you how everything's connected. So these are all the tools I had to use. So the tubing is great. Um, the tubing connections are really easy to use. They slide in really nicely. I put my two spare, these are for emergencies, in case uh, you can fill it up with just regular air like you would a tire. Um, I put them right here. I'll zip tie them and, and relocate them later. Um, here is the manifold I told you about. I actually connected it to the frame of the bed. I didn't want to do the frame of the truck because I don't want to put any holes in the truck. Uh, so. That's the frame of the bed there, and then I put the other part, the other frame of the bed is right here, and that's where I located this. So, here, I have this guy just sitting here right here for right now. Um, you can make that as long as you want. And, uh, what else can I show you? Oh, and then over there, you can see those are my sprink the sprinkler wires um, that are connected. Like I showed you before, let's go down there. So 
So what I did for 350 bucks is the guys had installed, because they had the jack, so they had installed the everything on that end um, because they had... Uh, so what I did was I, I connected this, I connected this, and all the tubing, and I was able to do it without any jacks. So um, that's something you know you can have someone else do as well. So... All right, so here's my sprinkler wires here. Um, you can see all the different colors. And that's this black wire that goes to the front of the truck above the engine. That one right there goes to the back of the truck. So for any connections I do on the bumper or anything like that, that's where that goes. So now that I'm all done, I'm going to go ahead and rewire zip tie and clean all this up. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.